So last time I was here, we were foaming this uh, Barnuminium. Uh, a lot has happened since then. Uh, one, we've had a ton of rain. I mean, I don't know, 15, 20 inches of rain. So I'm back today. Uh, the uh, the drywall has been done, and uh, the electricians and HVAC guys are in there right now. They are doing the exposed ductwork for the HVAC, and uh, we're also uh, staining some of the bedrooms. Only some of the home is going to have stained floors. Uh, the rest of it is going to have uh, engineered wood flooring. So uh, I'm going to show you some of that today. Last time I was here, we were filming the uh, this barn though, and I did not get to show you the uh, the close cell. So I'm going to show you some of that as well. I mean, these guys did an amazing job. Uh, very clean. It's going to look really nice once we uh, paint it. So very nice work that they did for us. You can see here all the faces of the Perlins did not get any insulation on them. Uh, you know, you can tell these guys care. You know, that's that's a big plus for us. Uh, so anyway, very nice, very nice job that they did here. So as you can see here, the phone guys did a really nice job on the insulation on the roof. We did close cell because we're gonna paint it black. And it just looks much better because it, it just lays down flatter. Uh, the other thing we did is the exposed duct work. And you can see that right there. Uh, we had multiple options of, uh, you know, for the air conditioning duct work. Uh, one of the options was to simply put the, uh, the duct work or the registers on the walls and bring them in from the other bedrooms. Uh, however, the look that we're going for this fits it a lot better. Some of this is going to have engineered wood floors and the rest of it is going to have stained concrete. Everything here that you see covered right now is going to be engineered wood flooring. Uh, some of these right here, like the utility room and the half bath right here, that's going to have stained concrete. This is the utility room. And here, you're going to have a pull down ironing board that we install right there. This is the uh, breaker panel, and of course you have a big window here that lets in a lot of light. So again, this is going to be stained concrete. This of course goes on to the, to the main living room and the kitchen. So big open floor plan. Uh, back here is the rest of the rooms. Now this out here is the... Uh, enclosed the uh, patio and uh, that's also going to be stained there's Leroy over there pretending to be working and uh, of course that's where we have the glass overhead doors uh, we go back here to the master bathroom which is also going to be stained concrete and we have Walter back here working oh man it's dusty so anyway we're getting it ready to stain obviously the first thing you do is you uh, take some sanding screens 60 grit and go over the floor a couple of times and uh, anyway that's just the first step there's a lot more steps you know the lake is the uh, the feature here right We're gonna, they're gonna be able to see the lake from the living room from the kitchen from the master bedroom and from the uh, enclosed patio of course this is where they're gonna come in and park we have a carport over here this is the carport and of course this is all going to get uh, we're going to put metal soffits up here and you know lights and everything so it's going to look real nice so this is where they're going to park they're going to go straight into the kitchen living room area and uh, uh, yeah it's going to be nice and convenient and of course the lake is back there it'll be real nice so we have a few barn aluminiums uh, that we need to pour some concrete and we just cannot get there. I mean, we're going to pour concrete all week this week and it rained again and it just keeps on raining. Again, you're not going to hear me complain about rain, but you know, a couple weeks break would be very helpful for us. Start doing what? We are Texas Barn Minions. We are no, Texas Barn Minions. Yeah, we've been doing it in the last couple of videos. Oh, I'm sorry, Leroy. Yeah, I know. So Leroy is my critic. He's my biggest critic because <laughs> he can do no wrong, right? Oh. Sweep up all that foam over there and there. 
please. Get the blower, bro. Yeah, they took it. <laughs> and stay up. <laughs> and don't come back. Hey, why don't you use the leaf blower? He said they took it. Yeah, and they asked him. I said, hey, Leroy, you want me to leave the leaf blower? No, we don't need it. I guess technically, technically he doesn't need it. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> want a water? I want a water. Huh? Yes, I do want a water. <laughs> Go out there and get you some. No, <laughs> <laughs> wait, get back inside. Me? What did I do? You know water, Walter? Here. Catch. You're gonna hit the tree. Come here. <laughs> Don't knock his glasses Check, off. Can it, can, hey, these have to last me till Friday, bro. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Walter. Hey, you, you throw like that, Prescott, and I catch like the receivers from Dallas. That's why we're out here do, staying in concrete <laughs> and not playing professional sports. <laughs> if you can't have fun on a job, too short, first of all. <laughs> hey, if you can't have fun on a job, then you know. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Though? You have one job. Why, why did you do that? Because it's, it's 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 rough. Okay, so how do you keep it down? You can't. I mean, I mean, keep it from doing that. I know it's rough, so it's gonna spin. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Need help? No. <laughs> You're funny. You want me to do it? No. <laughs> Let me do it. You cannot keep doing the same thing over and over and expect a different result. Alright? So if that's happening, I'm gonna flip this thing upside down. He went to school for this. There we go. There we go. 
Alright, so we're gonna have to do black pad only first. The issue we're having here is this is uh, light broom concrete uh, because it's outdoor. And we're gonna stain it, so the first thing we do is we hit it with a 6 degree tending screen. Water. Uh, well, the the concrete has more friction than the machine can provide, so as you can see, the pad keeps slipping off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it just with black pad first to try to knock off some of the roughness, and then come back and try to get some of that. Try to hit with a 60 grit or maybe 120 first, and then work our way down to 60. As you can see, there's a lot of concrete that's being sanded off. Uh, you do want to wear uh, a dust mask or anything like Leroy is wearing. Uh, it's outdoor, that's why I didn't put one on, but another thing is I'm not doing this, Leroy is. I was trying to show him how to do it, which uh, I failed miserably. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'll get it done. So next video, hopefully I'll show you what it looks like after this thing's done. Leroy. Yes, sir. Who are we? We are Texas Barnuminiums. We'll see you next week.